All right, tell me which famous person to you has a great growth mindset? Thomas Edison. I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that it didn't work. What does this quote mean for you, Abby? It means he has good because he... Here, is, look at me and say it. Because he says he has 10,000 ways that haven't worked, which is a, lo a lot of stuff, and that's a long time. All right. What were you guys going to say? Have grit. Never give up. Which famous person do you admire with a growth mindset? Barack Obama. Yes, we can. Dylan, what does this mean to you? Um, if you keep trying and trying again and you never give up, you can always um, succeed. And you can be president too. That's right. Maybe the future president is here in Hamilton School. Tell me, who did you pick as your growth mindset um, quote? Bruce Lee. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Read it for us, Henry. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Okay, guys, tell me, what does this mean to you? If you really want to be great at something, practice a lot. Give me one more hi-ya. Hi-ya! Alright, this group is going to tell us about a bubblegum brain quote from Dr. Martin Luther King. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. All right, Selena, what's this mean to you? It means if you keep having obstacles, just don't give up. And have grit. Well, tell us your growth mindset quote. Eugene uh, Bolt says, I don't think limits. To me, I think that means there's no limits in life and you can just keep going. That's right. Fastest man in the world. I don't think limits. Yours. Who's your growth mindset person you're going to tell us about? Um, I forgot the name. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. What you're thinking is what you're becoming. And then what you're thinking is what you can become. Like if you're thinking boxing, I can. Maybe one day you can, that's what you can become one time. That's right. But you got to believe in yourself. One of the best yeah. boxers ever. Mm -hmm. Inspiration exists, but it has to find you working by Pablo. Castle. And that means just keep doing your work. That's right. We should never just find you sitting. You should always be doing your work. One of the most famous artists ever, Pablo Picasso. Practice creates confidence. Confidence empowers you. Simone Biles. You can start late, look different, and be uncertain and still succeed. Missy Copeland. It is only the second African-American woman ever to reach the level of soloist at American Ballet Theater and the first in 20 years. She recently performed here at the Kennedy Center in Washington. And while she was here, she sat down with us to share the story of her rise from poverty to the spotlight and her desire to open the world of ballet to all economic backgrounds and races. She began by reading from her new memoir, Life in Motion, an unlikely ballerina. In it, she recounts the evening she danced the title role in Stravinsky's Dance of the Firebird. Outside the largest crowd I have ever seen waits prominent members of the African-American community and trailblazers in the world of dance who have seldom received their due are here tonight. But I know I will also dance for those who aren't here, who pass the Metropolitan Opera House but cannot imagine what goes on inside. They may be poor like I have been, insecure like I have been, 
misunderstood like I have been. I will be dancing for them too. I run onto the stage and feel myself transform. As I approach center, my flock parts, leaving me to stand alone. There's a brief second of silence before the audience erupts into applause once more, clapping so loudly I can barely hear the music. And so it begins. I'm Misty Copeland and I'm a soloist with American Ballet Theater. I didn't come from a background that would have um, introduced me to this world in any way. I didn't come from a family with money. I had no knowledge of the ballet world. I'd never heard classical music before. Uh, but I think above all of that, just starting at 13 and only training for four years before I uh, was accepted into American Ballet Theater, America's national ballet company, I think is the most unlikely of it all. <laughs> I took a free ballet class at a boys and girls club, surrounded by other kids that had similar backgrounds to me that were all older. Um, and I was selected to come to my teacher's school in a full scholarship. It was the first time in my life that that had been presented to me, that I had no limits and that I could dream. That was not something I grew up in my home atmosphere having. 